When you crack open a can of grape soda, the fizz hits your nose first. That sweet candy-like aroma rushes out, and before you even taste it, you know exactly what's coming. But here's the funny thing. When was the last time you bit into a real grape that tasted anything like grape soda? Chances are, never. That's because grape-flavored soda doesn't really taste like grapes at all. Instead, it has its own flavor identity, built from a mix of ingredients, chemistry, and a bit of food science trickery. Today, let's break down what's actually inside grape soda, how it gets that iconic taste and color, and why it tastes so different from the fruit it's named after. Right here on History of Simple Things. The foundation of any soda is sweetness. In most grape sodas, that comes from high fructose corn syrup, especially in the US. This sweetener is cheap, very sweet, and easy to mix into large-scale beverage production. It's one of the main reasons grape soda hits your taste buds with that syrupy punch. Outside the US, you'll often find regular cane sugar or beet sugar instead. Some people swear those versions taste cleaner or less heavy than corn syrup sweetened ones. And that difference alone can change how you perceive the drink. Then, there are the diet or zero sugar grape sodas. These swap sugar for artificial sweeteners like aspartame, sucralose, or axulfame potassium. Each one interacts differently with your taste buds. Some linger a bit too long, some come with a metallic edge, and some actually enhance fruitiness. So depending on the sweetener, grape soda can feel smooth, sharp, or even slightly bitter at the finish. Soda isn't soda without fizz. Carbon dioxide is pumped into the liquid under pressure, creating those tiny bubbles. They don't just provide that satisfying tingle on your tongue. They also lift aroma compounds up into your nose, which amplifies flavor. Ever notice grape soda smells stronger right after you pour it into a glass? That's carbonation at work, helping those grape-like aromas escape. Without bubbles, grape soda would taste flat almost like cough syrup. The fizz is what makes it come alive. Here's where things get interesting. The taste of grape soda doesn't usually come from real grapes. Instead, it's made from a blend of artificial or natural flavorings designed to mimic a certain idea of grape. The main star here is a chemical compound called methyl anthranolate. This molecule is naturally found in Concord grapes the deep purple, almost musky grapes often used in jellies and juices. It has a strong, sweet, almost perfume-like smell that instantly registers as grape in our brains. Food scientists discovered long ago that if you add methyl anthranolate to a sweet, fizzy base, you get that signature grape soda flavor. Sometimes it's combined with other flavor molecules like ethyl acetate or isoamyl acetate, which can add fruity or candy-like edges, but methyl anthranolate is really the backbone. What's fascinating is that Concord grapes themselves don't taste as exaggerated as grape soda. The soda version is like the cartoon drawing of a grape, bolder, sweeter, louder than the real thing. Over time, that's become what we associate with grape flavor. Now, think about the color of grape soda. It's not just purple, it's neon, electric, almost glowing. This is pure psychology at play. When you see that bright purple hue, your brain expects a bold, fruity flavor. Most grape sodas use artificial dyes to achieve this look. Common ones are red 40 and blue 1, which when combined create that vivid purple. Sometimes you'll also see variations that include blue 2, The color itself doesn't add flavor, but it changes your perception. If grape soda were clear, many people would swear it tasted weaker, even if the flavoring was the same. Color primes your senses, and purple tells your brain, this is grape. Some newer brands are experimenting with natural colorants, like anthocyanins. 
the pigments naturally found in grape skins, blueberries, and purple sweet potatoes. But those colors aren't as stable in sodas, especially under light and heat. That's why most big brands still stick with artificial dyes. They're consistent and long-lasting. If grape soda were only sweet, it would feel heavy and cloying. To balance it out, soda makers add acids. The two most common are citric acid and malic acid. Citric acid brings a sharp, citrusy tang, kind of like the brightness in lemonade. Malic acid is the same acid found in apples, and it gives a more rounded tartness. Together, they make the soda taste lively instead of flat. Without that acidity, grape soda would feel more like liquid candy. The acids are what keep you coming back for sip after sip because they cut through the sweetness and keep your palate refreshed. Like most sodas, grape soda needs preservatives to keep it safe and tasting fresh on store shelves. The most common are sodium benzoate or potassium sorbate. These prevent the growth of molds, yeasts, and bacteria in the sugary liquid. In small amounts, these preservatives are considered safe, though they sometimes get a bad rap. But without them, grape soda wouldn't last nearly as long. And let's be honest, soda companies need their drinks to sit in warehouses, vending machines, and pantries for months without spoiling. Now we get to the big question. Why does grape soda taste so different from real grapes? The answer is history and chemistry. When artificial flavor chemists were first developing grape-flavored products in the early 1900s, they used Concord grapes as their model. Concords have a very distinctive aroma compared to table grapes like the red or green ones you find in grocery stores. That aroma came largely from methyl anthranolate, so that became the basis of grape flavoring. Over time, the soda version of grape flavor became its own thing. Entire generations grew up knowing grape soda, grape candy, and grape popsicles as grape, even if fresh grapes didn't taste that way. Our brains built a separate category. Real grapes on one side, grape-flavored treats on the other. Both valid, both enjoyable, but very different experiences. At the end of the day, grape soda isn't really about tasting like grapes. It's about the memory, the fun, the punch of purple sweetness that reminds you of being a kid. It's the soda you grab from a corner store fridge or the one you poured over too much ice at a fast food place. The ingredients, sweetener, carbonation, flavoring, acid, color, are just the science. What grape soda really delivers is a feeling, playful, bold, and unapologetically artificial. And for many people, that's exactly the point. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.